Hello! I haven't done an aquarium project in a while and I figure it's about time to do one. I have a tank with live plants and I want to add DIY CO2 injection using the yeast method. So I'm going to set that up and I'm going to show you how I do it. All I really need for this project is a 2 liter pop bottle, some airline tubing, and some 3 16 inch rigid tubing that you can find at most pet stores. I'm going to step this up a notch though and add a check valve and a gas separator for safety. The gas separator I'm just going to make out of a rigid plastic bottle like this. The first thing I did was clean the bottles and remove the lids. Then I drilled a single 3 16 inch hole in the 2 liter pop bottle lid and two holes in the other bottle lid. I then cut three pieces of rigid tubing. Two were about one inch long and one was longer, about eight inches. One short piece went into the two liter bottle lid. The other short piece and the long piece went into the other lid. I mixed up some quick set epoxy to seal the rigid tubing pieces to the lids, but I probably didn't even need to do this. The tubing fit tightly and was probably airtight anyway, but the epoxy is there just in case. I filled the 2 liter bottle about 3 quarters of the way full of lukewarm water and added 2 cups of granulated sugar and shook it up to dissolve all the sugar. Then I added 1 teaspoon of bread yeast. Beer yeast and champagne yeast will likely last longer because they have higher tolerances for alcohol, but bread yeast is cheaper and it works. I used standard aquarium tubing to run a line from the 2 liter fermenter to the long tube in the smaller bottle and ran some line from the short tube to a check valve. I added some water to the smaller bottle so that the end of the long tube was underwater. Then I ran a long piece of tubing from the check valve to an air stone that will go into the aquarium. Now let's go hook this up to the aquarium. So there you go. We've got fermentation taking place in the 2 liter bottle producing ethanol and CO2. CO2 is going into the gas separator which is acting as a bubble counter and it's also there to prevent any of this sugar yeast mixture from getting into the tank in case the fermenter starts going crazy. Check valve is there just to prevent tank water from getting into the system. I think everything's doing well. Hopefully my plants will like it. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to keep up to date with my newest videos. Thanks for watching. I think it's about time to do some CYO, CYO, Catholicly used organization. And I decided to add some CYO, using the youth. I'm gonna set 